Hey guys, Joel here, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil True Director's Cut on the PS1. So last thing we did, we saved here in the guardhouse, and um, it's time to move on. <laughs> time to move on. We gotta search this place. There's only two rooms I checked in the last part. That was the one with the red door with the giant spiders in there, the two spiders, and then the other room where we got the um, the blank book, <laughs> the blank red book. So I'm gonna put this away. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take another one of these, um, one of these herbs. I'm gonna take another one. Do I have any mixed red? Uh, no, I don't. Do I have any green, maybe? I can put, I can mix two together right now? No, I don't. Okay, surprisingly. <laughs> okay, so let me just, um, take one of these then. Screw it. Take this one. And that's that, so we can move on. But oh my god, this music. Just gotta listen to it again, guys. This is, uh, so good. <laughs> this is so good. I love it so much. And um, it's kind of a little bit low. So you probably can't even hear well OBS, but I can. Yeah. It looks like it's, yeah, <laughs> it's good. But anyways, let's leave. But damn, music's so good. I love it. <laughs> love it so much. Like, I don't know. To me, like I said, I feel like that that um theme song from the director's cut is much better than the original theme, save room theme from the... Um, rather from this one <laughs> you know i feel like the director's cut was better to me you know just just my opinion but yeah and look at all these like oh actually no i was about to say look at all these wet cobwebs area i forgot that's the roots <laughs> from the plant from plant 42. oh yeah there is some green herbs back here see damn i should have brought the red herb i forgot all about this part Alright, fine. Let's we'll pick them up. I'll hold on to them for now. Wait, well, actually, maybe not, because this is taking a lot of space. <laughs> Why not pick another one? Like, come on. There you go. So I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna mix these two. I'm gonna leave that one there. And um, no, let me put these away first before we go. I don't know how many things we could have to pick up, especially important items or whatever. So let's just um drop these off. I'm gonna mix this one with the red herb and put the other ones away and everything. So let's do that. Uh, can never go wrong with this game. Like I never get tired of it. <laughs> like I said, like I said the first part, like, I never get tired of this game. You know, I, I said in plenty of videos. I should say not only just the first part of this, but I've been saying in plenty of videos where just don't get tired of you know the original Resident Evils. This is so good, you know. Yeah, there we go. Like these are the ones that I like. There we go. Alright, good. So now we got four spots open <laughs> in our inventory in our pocket. <laughs> so um continue on. So just in case if I find in you know like ammo for any guns or whatever, for the bazooka, and then um, important items, at least I'll have enough space to pick up all everything, pretty much, because um, we're going to need it. <laughs> we're going to need it. We're gonna need, we don't, I should say we're going to need a lot of um, ammo for the bazooka for the, um, what's it, the Plant 42. We didn't even get any flame rounds. Let's remember, that's what we need, the flame rounds. <laughs> Highly effective. Oh my god, look at that giant beehive. Or oh, wasps. <laughs> Whichever they are. Most likely wasps. I know wasps are more like aggressive. Bees are usually nice. They don't bother people. <laughs> Unless you um attack them. There you go. The number 002 is engraved. So there we go. Got that key. All right. Which goes right here. <laughs> All right. So. Toss that away. Now we got our four spots open again. <laughs> Free spots. And everything. And that music, man. <laughs> it's just so like like a mystery or something like. It's creepy, but it's like <laughs> like damn. Oh. There's not even nothing in here but that. I don't want I don't want that. No water is left. <laughs> yeah, okay. So now you have something to say about that tub. Nothing special. Yeah. I'm just leaving. I don't want to pick up that. At this point in the game, we don't even need it, especially as Jill, because we have a lot of shotgun shells and the bazooka um, 
a lot of bazooka ammo and everything. The dust is locked. Let me guess, more shells in here, shotgun shells? Yes. They're always in here. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm not complaining. Now what's this? Oh, plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident and the plant and the plant at point 42. Point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It's a man plant 42, <laughs> that's fine. Let me just, um, okay. Make sure it's not too loud, but I think it's... Okay. It has been affected, I mean, it has been affected by the T-virus differently. Yeah, it has been affected by the T-virus differently than other plants have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imagine imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so, like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second, and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing the movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood using the suckers located at the back of its vine. Damn. It also has been, it also has shown, I mean, yeah, it has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining its vines around, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victims to this. May tw May 21st, 1938, Henry Sar Sarton, or Sar Sardom, Sardom, whatever you say it. Pan 42 report has been filed. Okay, anything you got to say around it? <laughs> right, let's go pick up this. The dormitory sketch, will you take it? You got the map of the dormitory. All right, you got anything to say about outside? Nope. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Alright, so now we gotta go into the basement where... Uh, gotta deal with the sharks. Of course I wanna descend. <laughs> well, ask me these things, it's like, come on, no, let's get this joke. I love this theme song too, this one's really good. I like this one. I like this one and um, the save room theme is my two favorites in Resident Evil 1. In this version, I should say. <laughs> trying to think what else, like, ones I like in Resident Evil 2. I know, um, the, the save room theme, of course, <laughs> but, uh, I don't think there's any other themes I like in that one. This is always gonna be my favorite, though, so. I know I've said that plenty of times already, like, this is my favorite one, then second. Yeah, the, the I, well, yeah, should I say, um, I was gonna say part three. Part three would probably be my second. I mean, no, actually, no. Nah, I, in that order. One, two, and three. <laughs> in that order is my favorites. I have one, two, and three. Even though three I like, the only thing with three that I didn't really like is it's like it feels a little bit more action based in a way, you know, and everything like that, especially with Nemesis. But I do like that he's chasing you everywhere. I thought that was great, you know. And like I said before, I love a lot of horror games where you have a you know an enemy, you know, monster or a killer or whatever is always chasing you around, so you're never safe, you know. You never know when they're gonna show up. So that's what I liked about that one. That's what I liked about with with um, Super Soldier. <laughs> Mr. X and um and Nemesis. Oh and also um the what's his name? And Forrest from um Resident Evil HD. When you beat the game and you play it over, he's he's chasing you around the mansion too. Not as much as Nemesis does of course, but he's there. Because at least with Nemesis and, and Super Soldier, you can take them down, you know, for a short amount of time. You know, but with with Forrest you can't shoot him. <laughs> Shooting the whole place blows up. This is an instant death. I thought there's water everywhere. Oh, there it is. It looks like a plant root. <laughs> okay, thank you for staying the obvious. Let me go over here. There's a bag here, nothing useful inside. Do you even check it? You check it properly, girl? Don't believe you. <laughs> Don't believe you. Is that a phone? Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm trying to see if I can like, examine it. All right, let's go because we know who's gonna pop up. Oh, we, wait. Oh, wait. Oh my God, there's one thing I forgot. I forgot the key. 
All right, let's go back. Good thing I didn't go all the way because I think it would have triggered the scene where they would have showed up. So, which would have been annoying coming back here, you know, once you get this key. I forgot all about the key. <laughs> I think that happened to me already before <laughs> when I played this, the Barry's edition when I forgot about the key. Always forget the key. Always forget that key. All right, so let me go back and get the key. A lot of backtracking, man. <laughs> Sorry, I say a lot of backtracking and everything, but uh, it's fine. Whatever. I mean, this game, I don't really don't mind it that much because it's not like it's not that annoying. And it's like these things. It's not like everything is far, far away where you have to really run all the way back here and shit. It was like how it was with Siren. Like, oh my god, that game. Uh, I didn't want to talk about it again. <laughs> I should have keep. I should even you know keep bringing it up. Cause... Uh, it was just so bad, like, terrible. But anyways, where's this key at? Oh, here it is. What I should have done was keep it on me. That's what I should have done. Should have kept it on me. Now we just wasted some time <laughs> in this playthrough. Usually it doesn't take that long to beat this, especially if you know exactly everything to do, you know, but... Maybe I should maybe I should have played that arrange mode. <laughs> that arrange mode would have been would have been interesting to do, you know? Would have been fun. <laughs> you know, everything would have been scattered all over the place, different places and stuff. But whatever. Well so far, like I said, I don't see anything different in this this true director's cut. Like I haven't seen anything, you know. <laughs> anything really that stands out, minus the like the um the FMVs that they change, you know, when they Replace them and stuff with the Japanese one. Where they have color now and it's like more gruesome and everything like that. That's about it. They did say much more, so I don't I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what else they did. Minus that, blood on the wall in the mansion, and that's that. Uh oh. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it in here. Hurry up! Oh yes, come on, go, go, go. Oh, and they quickly top an exit, go inside here. <laughs> I was like, nope, I'm like, you're not getting me. All right, let's, let's drain this water. There's a lever, will you move it? Yes, of course. Yeah, because if we didn't have the key, that, we definitely would have got bit because he was like right behind me, like right on me. So, <laughs> so it was good that we did that. All right, there we go. There was a sound from the room next door. All right, good. And there's nothing else in here. All right. Yeah, that's like that music. This is so good. Like, <laughs> love it. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. <laughs> it's so creepy, but like mysterious in a way. In. <laughs> I like it. Danger. What's over here? They're all, they are all wet. Yeah, they are all wet and useless. Okay. All right. You didn't even look. Like, how you know? Like, could it be something you know valuable in there? Could have been a lot of ammo. You know, a new gun. <laughs> hey, at least we got our shotgun shells. I'll take that. And what's this? All right. Got the next key. I already know which door this is for. Okay, so we're like almost done with this place pretty much. We got we got the the number three key, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> so we're like almost done already. Oh damn look at them. <laughs> Poor things. Feel kinda sorry for them, but whatever. Let me go back in here because let me see if it's something now I can pick up maybe. Let me see. Alright, nope. Alright, this this wanna know. <laughs> well, I mean I just wanted to make sure I should say, you know. Make sure I'm not missing anything. 
I don't even think we have to do the thing with with her with Joe, that um like, uh, making the V Joe to throw on that on the roofs because what's his name comes for us um Barry, I just remember. <laughs> so, like I said, she has it easy, so we we're, we're good. But I'm still gonna take the bazooka just in case. <laughs> oh, that'd be good with the shotgun. You guys think I could probably do this with a shotgun? I don't know. I feel like I'm waste too much shots. So let me get the bazooka. <laughs> let me play it smart. All right, so I'm gonna go back there. And also, I'm going to make another save before, just in case this thing kills us. Most likely not, but, you know. I'm not, I'm not even going to take any ammo for the bazooka. I'm just going to take the bazooka and that's it. And just keep the shotgun with me. Just in case, you know, just a week and more, just in case. Because, like I said, I don't remember if we have to fight it. But... We'll see. Alright, so where are you? Oh yes, I need you. And bazooka. And where's my ink ribbons at? And we only got two left, so if I find any more, we gotta pick them up. <laughs> Alright, so save. I don't remember if there's anywhere else I left. I think I left some ink ribbons somewhere in the mansion, if I'm not mistaken. So We'll pick up some more. Yeah, this is not. This is definitely not all they're gonna be giving us for the rest of this playthrough. Yeah. All right, so put that back, and yeah, we're good. Hey right, guys, we're set. Keep this in our hand just in case. <laughs> but we're set. But like I said, I'm not gonna. Like I said in the first part, I'm trying to keep as all the ammo for this weapon as much ammo as I can, especially the acid rounds, because very soon, like we're almost done with this place. Once you get the key, I think it's the helmet key. Yeah, the helmet key, and then once we get back to the mansion, we'll be the hunters. So very soon we're gonna have to encounter them. And I believe they're weak against um against acid. It's easy, it's easy to take them out. So um that's what we're gonna do. Alright, there we go. So now we got one spot freed, and we're about to get another one free <laughs> after we we put this book in there. Go in here first. See what's in these bathrooms and the dormitories. <laughs> oh, another. Oh, all right. Ooh. Oh, flame rounds. Oh, thank you. This is exactly what I need for him. Okay. Can I switch the ammo? Let me see if I can just switch it without. Um. Oh, are you serious? That sucks. In this game, you can't do it. Uh. uh whatever. I want to switch to ammo and save that, but whatever. The dust collects inside. The bathtub was dirty, so now she has something to say about this bathtub. Something different. <laughs> Nothing special. What about this? Anything different? Nothing major about this washstand. She's just saying things different, like for each one. Like, what's the point of that? <laughs> Might as well have her say nothing at all then. My reflection. She's trying to look pretty and stuff in the mirror. <laughs> Let's go. I just remember it also this part with the bookshelf it, in the HD version where you have to do like a little puzzle with that and it's like the naked lady and stuff when you put everything together and I was like, eh. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, here. There we go. My ink ribbon. Take that. <laughs> I remember that. All right. You got nothing to say about this bed. All right. It's fine. She talk when she wants to. <laughs> All right. Let's go. A row of red books. There's one white book. We take it. Yes, Vijo report, which I don't think we have to do. <laughs> As I stated in the last report, there were some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant virus. We also found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16. One of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment, we named this UMB number 16 as Vijo. In our calculation, it would take less than five seconds to destroy Plant 42 if we put the VJO directly on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create VJO. But the UMB series, series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas, which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following, following all the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. Yeah, I remember all this. Yeah, the... 
Number two is red. You have three NP3 is purple, four green, yellow, blue, stimulating smell, V jolt. You want to be number 16, bro. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think we have to do it. So, here we're good. Now our book is missing. Yeah, okay. You have it in your pocket. <laughs> Put, it in. Put it in there. All right, let's go, guys. <sighs> Time for plant 42. <laughs> Oh, oh, we do have to fight it. All right. Okay. Come on. Take this. Wow, look how fast that was. And I think he shows up after, if I'm not mistaken, and then that's it. We're done. Wait, how did I get back over there? <laughs> and why would she walk next to it? Like... <laughs> so stupid. Like, come on, Joe. Like... What the hell is this? <laughs> He's just standing looking like Thank you, help me. Like what the hell? Come on, Barry. Come on. <laughs> Damn. Took a lot of flame. So mention. bad. What a monster. <laughs> I can't believe. What the hell is this place anyway? It's a mansion with monsters in it. <laughs> the way she said, like, you saved me. <laughs> that was too funny. All right, let me get my helmet key. Let's go. Thank you very much, though, for helping me out. All right, so let's examine you real quick. A carving of a helmet. So now we got the helmet key. So I'm gonna hold on to you because I'm about to go get the ass around <laughs> because I'm, I'm ready for these guys when we get back to that mansion. Anything else over here? Right, nope. It's a big room with just a plant in it and a, and a fireplace. This is, this is strange. Anything else to say, Barry? Hey, I gotta talk to you from here. Okay. Right. I'm gonna stay in the soldiers area and take a look around. Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, what? let's start searching separately. Okay. That's what we've been. That's what we've been doing the whole time, searching separately. And other mansion. This is a guardhouse. What are you talking about, Barry? So you can't talk to him from this way. You have to. <laughs> you can only do it okay. from here. I'm gonna stay in the soldiers. Oh area damn! I should never do that. Oh, I gotta hear this crap I'm again. I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, let's start searching separately. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this place. We're 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 good. We're set now. <laughs> this guardhouse is not complete. Let's make our way back to the mansion, guys. Oh. Uh oh. Wesker. Oh, Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared <laughs> been. from the hall all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm sorry, Beam. but I have my reasons. <laughs> Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. All right, Ruska, we know you're up to no good. Oh, damn, I was like doing this. Ooh, ah, uh. do this one. Oh, ah, uh. ah. Uh. I like how you just step on it and explode like that. Like, <laughs> is that happening in real life where you step on a bug and it explode into pieces like that? <laughs> I need to go back. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, definitely need to go back in here, drop off the zinc ribbon, and um, get my acid rounds. Oh, should I keep? 
I don't even know. They're not really weak against this stuff, so. Yeah, I'm gonna say the after rounds. Uh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to combine these stuff first. It was stupid. There you go. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had to combine this as well. <laughs> uh, this game, man, this is so tedious. There you go. Now I can put them in together. All together. There we go. I'll keep you for now. And all right, we're good. Too bad I can't switch around to the acid. I have to just finish up this the explosive rounds in here. I think they're weak against it too. Probably take like maybe maybe it'll take like two shots and it'll take them out, maybe. Who knows? But whatever. We have um my helmet key. We don't need to come back here. So anything else I'm missing? Oh wait, wait. Oh wow, hold on. <laughs> Oh wait, I forgot about the helmet key. My radio, wait, can I, can I use it? Oh no, it stopped. I heard it just now, it was beeping. But I guess we have to wait till we go back out there to, to initiate it. <laughs> the cutscene. Yeah, I forgot because since I was, I put it away quickly to like, put these things together. There you go. <laughs> oh, that thing messed me up. So it's so annoying, you have, to, you have to take them out, then combine them, and then put them back in the box. Alright, now let's go. Now we're, we're done. <laughs> it's not, wait. It's, yep, it's not, I can't, whatever, it's, it's whatever, I don't even care. It's still gonna be the same shit, like, he can't hear us, we can't hear him. <laughs> so I don't even care if we missed the call. <laughs> there, over here. Oh, I forgot about these herbs. You know what? I'm gonna pick up one of these. I'm gonna mix one of these with um with the red and the red and green. Let me see if I do it from this one first. Let's see if it stays up there. Let's see. Oh, okay. So that's how it stays up there. All right. <laughs> that's how you have to do it. It's not the herb first. You have to use the mixed ones first, then combine. I hate when you when you combine it and it goes to the bottom. Like, stay up there. Like, <laughs> I like that. Oh, I forgot about you, dog. But I ain't gonna bother you guys. Oh damn, he was running in the same. Come on, come on. <laughs> he was like running like side with like side by side. It was like it was, like it was a race. Oh, I forgot about these snakes. Hope they don't poison me. Yeah. Oh wait. Come on. How we heard from that a little bit? Like, come on. Hey, right, come on, go, go. All right, good. Ooh, that's not poisoning me. <laughs> not today. Right, you know what? I might as well just use this. Screw it. Might as well. <laughs> uh. Oh damn! It's so dark. On my TV, <laughs> I don't know for you guys, probably a little bit brighter, but like so dark right there. I couldn't, I couldn't even see, but all right, we're here back. I'm here back in the mansion. Oh my god, so scared, guys. Oh my god. Oh, but it's home sweet home to me. That's what it feels like. I, was, I like the mansion more than the godhouse. Oh lord. Oh my god! <laughs> no guys. No guys is here. No. Oh oh. Oh, that nasty hand. Uh. Oh my god. Come on. Oh damn. Ooh. It, like blew up pieces of him. <laughs> damn. Alright. Well, at least this, this hall is now secured, so <laughs> so we're good. Oh damn, it's pitch black in here. Damn, it's like so dark. There's a switch where you push it. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Oh, we do get the magnum still. All right, all right, perfect. No, I don't want to mess with that. I was just trying to examine things and see. I can only see moonlight and dense forest. So, <laughs> so here you can see something else. All right. Oh, there's a book over there. I got no more space. Nothing on the common. Uh. Alright, 
Yeah, we have no space for it. All right, that's fine. We'll come back. <laughs> as what? Yeah, as bullet, full metal. 0. 0. 0. 0.357 Magnum rounds for the Colt Python. I actually didn't know that she gets it too. So damn, she gets like all, like she got a lot of weapons, man. The shotgun, bazooka, and um, the python. That's that's crazy. <laughs> she got it good. Oh, where is he? Oh, damn. Oh, here it is. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble, Barry. All right, now I just know. That's what I was looking for in the first part, but I forgot it's later on <laughs> that. It shows up that he he leaves, I should say. All right, what do you leave for me? Ooh, all right. Thank you very much. More shotgun shells. More acid rounds. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll leave that on the floor. We don't we don't want that. <laughs> you know, I really don't care, but whatever. Uh, I'll just leave it here. Screw it. And um, what else? You know, I'll do another save. Since we're back here now, things are more intense now here in the mansion. So it's like, damn, because you got the hunters everywhere just patrolling. So it's not good, guys. It's not good. But we have our trusty bazooka. So we're good. We got a lot of lot of um mixed herbs and everything inside the box. So we're like good. Like, we're like set. We don't have to, we don't have to worry for a while. <laughs> and anything else I'm missing? Uh, no. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, so let me go back to our room real quick, get the book. Because I believe that inside the book is one of the medals that we need to get to the lab later on. To get to the Umbrella Lab, Secret Lab, the Secret Lair. <laughs> they always have some secret underground base. <laughs> you know, under like some, you know, building. <laughs> you know, like this was the mansion under the building. I mean, under the mansion. In Resident Evil 2, it was, um, wow, it's dark again. Come on. Who turned off the light? Why? <laughs> I was like back off again. Who did that? It was a ghost? <laughs> we hear Resident Evil 2 is under the police station. And um, Resident Evil 3 is under the city. <laughs> that was crazy. Let's check this out. Doom book. It says, um, can we zoom? Oh, we can. Eagle of East Wolf. Well, Eagle of East Wolf of West. <laughs> okay. There was a medal in the book. There you go. I forgot you could zoom in as well on this. A medal from the first Doom book. <laughs> the first Doom book. Names their book that Doom book. So it's so like... <laughs> yeah. Whatever. So we got our first medal. Put this back in the, in the box. And I think there's only like two rooms left with the helmet key. I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think there's like two. Or is it three? I think two. <laughs> I think no, I wasn't trying to do that. I thought I was next to the box, that's why. <laughs> Alright, so let's put you down. I'll keep you up here. And we're good. And yeah, maybe you know what? Maybe we don't need the shotgun anymore. Yeah, maybe we should put that away now. I think we're good. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, damn, now everything's all messed up. Uh, all right, guys. I'm sorry. Let me just do this real quick. <laughs> there we go. All right. That was good. Even though I should have had the key on, like, before those. I mean, after. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> as long as I have the gun and everything at the top, we're good. All right, there we go. Hey, I think there's a couple of hunters up here. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so scared. All right. Oh yeah, there's one right there. All right. All right. Quietly now. Ooh. Damn, took off his arm. It's like damn. Oh, I only put six shots. So uh, I think I'm thinking about Resident Evil Two. I know the grenade, the grenade launcher that Clear gets. You can put all the rounds in, if I'm not mistaken. The one over here. All right, no, we're good. I think this is the last door that that we need with that we have. I mean, a lock with the helmet key. I think. I'm trying to think, there's another door we missed. 
Yeah, there's definitely another door. <laughs> it's another door. Uh, I don't remember, but whatever. Oh, let's get this first. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to fight the snake. We're good though. We have we have a lot of acid runs. If I'm not mistaken, he's weak against acid, so we're good. A hole opens in the fireplace. <laughs> Anything over here? This is, this is a big room. This is, this is a big room, like a waste of space. Look at this big room. There's barely anything in here. Minus like paintings, a fireplace, and like <laughs> a lonesome table by itself over there with two chairs or a desk, I should say, and a piano over here. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's him. I don't even know his name. His official name. I'm just always calling him the snake. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get out of here, get out of here. Oh yeah, you're weak again. Already, right? Put there. <laughs> oh, what? Come on. Um, oh, I'm not poisoned. Okay. Damn, see how quick that took him on, guys? Yeah, I'm not poisoned, but... Use this one. Yeah, I think the other one's the one that I mixed with the um the blue herb. I don't know why it came out brown, but the color of it. It's too dark to see anything. Jill, <laughs> He's walking past have it. You found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. <laughs> oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Duh. <laughs> oh hey, God. what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? <laughs> Barry? Barry? Okay, I think I remember at this part, you have to wait. He'll 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 um show up and you can get you can come back up. I think. So let's see. Let me let me wait. There's actually something new I didn't know about. Honestly, because back then I didn't know that <laughs> if you wait around, he'll come back for you. <laughs> I'm just standing around. Oh yep, that's right. Hey, are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! Wait, how do you get another rope? <laughs> Where did the other one go? Why couldn't she just throw it up to him or something? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. That was going to happen. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Oh, pass number. Yeah, this is what we need. Pass number 808 or whatever. <laughs> All right, there you go. Has been found. Thank you. I'll take this then. I sure will say that then. Like, he's giving it to you. <laughs> just take it. He just leaves after that. Whatever. We can go back down, right? Yep. Now I remember this is where the next key is. I mean, the last door, I mean. Now I know where it is. Look at this dangling. Where I was moving, everything is like out of place. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I remember now. Oh, wait, what's behind there? Anything behind it? No. Yeah. The same place I used that passcode is where the last door is to get it the gem. Now I remember. But first, let's go on the ground. Check out down here. Of course, I wanted to descend. Let's go. Oh, that music, oh my god. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Is there a zombie over here? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, damn. Damn, I should have kept the shotgun. What? You can't charge it that way? Oh, come on. <laughs> right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bazooka. Take these fools out. 
Oh yeah, I remember now. You gotta get the battery around here somewhere. Yeah, I think we have to take an elevator. Oh damn, what's going on? Ooh. Any feasts on that guy over there? Anything over there though? Let me see. Oh, oh that's a herb. Alright, you guys can continue. <laughs> I don't need that. Sorry to bother. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it is immediately got up. I'm like, nope. I'm not gonna be a next meal. You guys can continue with that one. It's dusty, it has not been used for a long time. Okay, that's all you have to say. Freezer has not been used for a long time. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Anything else in this kitchen? A gas cooking stove. The gas is not supplied. Alright, let's just go. Like, <laughs> oh, I know you're alive. Can I push him out of the way? Oh, <laughs> oh you can, alright. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. I thought like he would have automatically just grabbed me or something as soon as I touched his body, but. Alright, so we're good. Oh damn! I take that. Excuse me. <laughs> I was, I'm wasting. Uh, I should have just kept the shotgun. I, I forgot about this part. Ooh, we got some explosive rounds and the battery. A battery. Now I can move the elevator in the courtyard. Funny thing is, we didn't even like check that out when we was there. So how she knows automatically that's what we need it for. <laughs> I gotta even look at the elevator over there. I just picked up the map at the time when we were going to the guardhouse. But whatever. She just automatically knows that that's what you need it for, by the way. Like, like, <laughs> come on. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this last room over here. <laughs> Dust is locked. Will you open it? Yes. What is it? What's in it? Oh, more magnum rounds. Man, we got too much stuff in here, man. All right, definitely have to come back here. What's over here? All right, scrapbook. Raccoon Times, May 27, 1988. Animal, I mean, animal attack? Woman mutilated. May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old young, a 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the cider district of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assumed it, it to be a grizz to be a grizzly or other animals doing doing uh, other animals doing because there were teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot on her since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arclay Mountains and fell into the river. They were hurrying to identify this woman. Raccoon Weekly, June 16th, 1998. Monsters in Arclay Mountains? Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arclay Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs and usually run in a pack as wolves do. As wolves do. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say, they say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them. So you, so you smart readers should stay out of the Arclay Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, check it out. You want to try? Raccoon Times, July 19th. I mean, 9th, <laughs> July 9th, 1998. Mystery on, mystery on Arclay Mountains, mountain roadblocks. Due to successive disasters in the Arclay Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon police intend to begin their search for lost people with the help of STARS team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of Arclay Mountains and the prim, prim, primeval, primeval, how do you say it, primeval, forest that covers most of the area also people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the in the mountains scrapbook has been filed most of them are, are biology and chemistry okay <laughs> all right so oh yeah there's this room back here if anything i'm gonna use that green herb whatever and then i'll pick up what's in here and i guess i'll come back for the magnum rounds actually i don't need all right, excuse me. Thank you. I don't really need to turn this on. It just shows a light. I just remember this, but whatever. Turn on. Yeah, it just shows you we have to put this thing. Well, let me move it up a little bit. Oh, I can't. No. And I can't go behind it. Right, let's see if I can still push it over there. Let's see. Oh, okay. 
I was about to say, do I have to come back in this room and do it right? All right, good, good. There we go. I don't know why I'm thinking is is I don't know if it's this one, the director's cut, or it's one of these Resident Evil's, or maybe the HD one, where you when you're in this room and one of those things shows up. I think they call it ticks or whatever. I don't know which one it was, but you don't need to use this item now. You can just use them at it. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. I got two things I want to get. And there's another way over there too I didn't even check. On this side. Yeah, that thing I got to push. Alright, so we'll be back for all these stuff. We got two things we're missing. Various books. I just want to check to see if there's anything else. It it oh, it has not been used for a long time. And, and what? And it's dusty. Alright. Yes, yeah, she has certain things to say about it. <laughs> you know. I mean, each book show, she has something different to say. All right, so we'll be back. Oh, I didn't see him there. All right, let's check over here real quick. Oh, these over here. Okay, I remember this area. You open it? The door is locked. Oh, good thing I got out of the way quick. Oh damn! All right, let's go around you. <laughs> I really don't. I really didn't want to waste as much of the acid rounds. You know, I just forgot that I had the shotgun right now to take them out. I'll leave you alone. So I'll come back to that area. If I'm not mistaken, when you get when you use a path code or whatever and not a door, you can come back from that way instead of coming through here from the basement and take an elevator. You can go through that other side, I think. So, so we'll we'll do that. We'll do it that way. So I'm gonna go to the save room where the helmet key is at. We have to use the helmet key, and I'll make my way. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I wasn't. Come on, man. My hurt. Yeah, of course. Well, now I can use it. <laughs> I'm not going back up there again. Screw it. I'll just wait. Let me just clear out some of these stuff I have. Oh, forgot about this part. Oh my god. Oh, you hear the sounds making everything. Oh, look at his arm. Oh, it looks nasty. Uh oh. Oh my god. Alright, good. Come over here. I'm not wasting no ammo on you. Damn, I want. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You stay over here. <laughs> I just. I'm trying to save, reserve this ass around for the hunters, that's why. Ugh. I forgot that there's gonna be some zombies still around, but I'm, I'm, I was just thinking that there's gonna be hunters now all over this damn place. The elevator doesn't seem to stop on this floor. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. There's another route we can take to get around that, around that place easier. Oh! I can't believe I missed that. Come on. Actually, you know what? Let me use this one. There you go. And he was already jumping and everything, like, <laughs> and that, that attack is, is does a lot of damage, a lot of damage. And they jump up and like slice you. I think like puts you in like in caution fast or even danger sometimes. <laughs> or if you're on caution and they hit you with that, is is like you die right after that. You do not survive. <laughs> All right, so um, where are we gonna go again? Oh yeah, we have to. I can take this route actually and go that way or I can take the blue door and go around the other way hmm I always take this route so let's do it this way see if something happens different since we'll see if anything happens now you know differently you know like anything's gonna happen I should say any monsters gonna be around this area now because every time I always take upstairs and I go downstairs the other way like you know around that route we can switch it up do it this way oh there's giant spiders Oh yeah, that's what's over here now. Oh damn, where the hell did- How did they get in here? <laughs> where, where did they come from? Did they come, come in through the windows? What? I don't even know. Oh yeah, it's, uh, I think there's hunters around here. I think. Oh yes, I know it. Come on! Yeah, take that. Let's see if there's anything in the bathroom now. <laughs> I just want to check around. 
see what was going on. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, just wanted to check. I know in the HD version, like, they will break they break open the door. <laughs> it's crazy, this, this bathroom door. Where's the body go? It disappeared. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not going the right way. This is the wrong way. Wow. It was the other route. Wow, I'm stupid. <laughs> Let's go back. Yeah, we're all supposed to go upstairs and go around this way. This way doesn't take us that way. <laughs> Wait, does it take us that way? I'm getting mixed up. I don't even know. Let's just go back this way. So confused this damn match. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. Actually, no, it's not this way at all. It's the other route we're supposed to take. Wow. Now, now I know. <laughs> now I know. So, sorry, guys. I, I, got, I got it all mixed up. It's this side we're supposed to be on, not that side. Going over there for nothing. <laughs> I honestly, I didn't even know that a spider shows up in that giant spider shows up in that room. I didn't even know that because I never take that route back. <laughs> when I come back here, I, I never, I never walk through that area. You know, so that's why. Is this where we're supposed to be? Which I know there's a lot of punches around. I think. Let's see. Yeah, take that. Damn. Ooh. Ugh. Blow it off his, you know, blow off his arms and everything. Crazy. Just making sure. I think there's like two around here. I think. Oh. Yeah, take that. There's another one. This one, I saw another one back there. Or was it just me? Oh yeah, I see him over there. Oh, take that. <laughs> All right, so now these halls are secure now. <laughs> Whew. All right, back in our save room, man. It's so good in here. All right, you know what? I'm still gonna keep, um, so we're gonna keep the bazooka on me. What I'm going to do now is take out these. These guys are actually really effective. I didn't expect that, honestly. Is there any more around here first before I um uh yeah, we're good. Let me just um Let me take another one of these. Oh yeah, I can't mix them yet. Hold on. I gotta do this crap first. <laughs> there you go. Want to keep another one on me? Blue and red. I'll mix these real quick. I'll get an ink ribbon. We're saving here, and then we continue. All right. Ooh, much better. And one more thing I want to do. Hold on, where is it? Do I have another green herb? Yes. Just want to heal up. There you go. Just make sure you're 100. percent You know, just in case. All right. Now let's get the ink ribbon. Right. Okay. Whew. Oh my god. This feels so good in this room. Every time I'm in here. <laughs> Every time. I just want to stay in here. I don't even want to leave. I don't even want to leave or nothing. Stay here and just relax and all that good stuff. And so good. <laughs> so good in here. I don't know. Did I pick out any other equipment? Or was this the only one I picked up? Let me see. I just want to pick up some more. All right, I guess not. All right, it's fine. So yeah, so that last one we'll just save for now until um, I guess when we get to the lab, it's probably gonna be some more we can get. Whatever. All right, so last room is up here, and then we also have the passcode we can do as well. Oh damn, where are they? Here. Oh, come on. Oh no, are you still alive? Oh, come on, come on. There you go. Ooh. All right, let's see if I'm right. If this is where these is back to. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Nice. So, what I'm going to do first, let me unlock this door. Because I think it's the last door, so I can throw away the key. 
that I can go back and get those two things from the other area. All right, let's see. There you go. And you know what? Let me go here first. Save room is right there, so at least I know we can just throw whatever we need. We don't need in the box over there. All that stuff. All right, orders. Top secret, July 22nd, 1998. To the head of security department. To the head of the security department. X days approaching. Complete the following orders within the week. Number one, lure the members of STARS into the lab and have them fight with the BOW in order to obtain data of actual battles. Number two, collect two embryos per BOW. Type, POW type. Making sure to include all the species except for tyrant. Number three, destroy the Arclay lab, including all researchers and lab animals in a manner which will seem accidental. White umbrella. <laughs> Damn. They had their orders. It was ready. Oh, yes. Let's take this. There you go. Uh, I'm not going to touch the shotgun. <laughs> Shells. I'm going to, I want to get this gem first. There you go. Damn, look how dark it is in here. <laughs> it's creepy. Are you trying to take the, to take out the eyeball? Yeah. There you go. All right, turn back on the light. This is creepy in here right now. <laughs> there you go. Let's check it out real quick. Ooh, look at this. Nice ruby. It's shining beautifully. <laughs> say, this is about the, the blue one. <laughs> like it's like it's beautiful. All right, so what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm just going to um use a gem real quick in the statue, the tiger statue, whatever, and um get whatever that's it, whatever is in there, and then um then I'll go back to having upstairs and get the other stuff that I want to get. But um, we're almost done with the mansion, so making progress. Almost done. And we make our way back outside. After that, we have one more place to go, and that's our underground place. And then we'll be in the lab. <laughs> then we'll be in the lab. All right, what is it? All right, what goodies are behind here? Ooh, it's the Magnum. Oh, yes. Got the Colt Python. Oh, yeah. All right, we're good. We don't need the shotgun anymore. <laughs> Is I, from what I remember, the, the hunters is one shot with this thing, man. It takes them out. But I'm not going to use that on them. I'll continue using the bazooka and I'll save it for when we get to the last boss. <laughs> it's highly effective. So we're good. So I'm going to put this back in the box along with the magnum ammo. Yeah, so like I said before with Joe, like she has it easy. Like, look how much ammo we got and weapons we got. And mixed herbs we got. And on top of that, we have batteries saving our ass everywhere. <laughs> so it's like, like, damn, we got a good. All right, so let's put you away. Yeah, put you next to that. Yep, that's good. All right, so now we can go back to the other room. I don't know if I want to pick up those mixed herbs. I mean, all the, I mean, not, not the mixed herbs, all those herbs on the floor in that room where all those, those zombies are feasting and everything. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should just leave them, right? I don't even know. I don't have space anyways to carry everything, so... The main thing I'm going for is the Magnum Rounds, and, um... I need to get the Mole Disc. Right. Oh, what?! Oh, come on! Wow, am I... Wow, I, I, I'm mad. That pissed me off. It really pissed me off with that. Take that. All right. Might as well get these guys get these guys now then. <sighs> like he was like waiting there too. Like as soon as the other one <laughs> was biting my leg when he was finished, like he just like grabbed me right after. Like, come on, that's cheap. That's cheap right there. What if I was like on caution or something? I would have been dead because I don't think you can go to the the, the main man I mean the your inventory while they're biting you. So I would have been dead right there. I'm going to waste time with you guys, but I'm just going to get my Magnum ammo. 
Oh, I forgot that the last room over there on the other side. We had to push the thing. Damn, so much to do, man. <laughs> All right. And too much backtracking is the thing. Too bad I thought she would have probably got something, a pouch, like have a little bit extra extra space, but I forgot they, they didn't introduce that in this game. <laughs> that was in part two when you get the pouch, the hip pouch. And then ever since, all the remakes is the ones that had it. Because I, I don't remember if the original Resident Evil 3, you get it, she gets a hip pouch either. I don't think so. All right, let me just see what's, what's back here, even though we can't pick up anything. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Running to the wall like an idiot. Let's see what's in here. Maybe it's not something important, so I just want to still check. Let's see. What's that? Oh, ink ribbon. Actually, that would come in handy, but. So, what else you got? Oh, what? Yeah, no, we don't need this. At this point, <laughs> at this point in the game, we do, we do not need that. I mean, the ink ribbon I would have got, but. Let's see. I can look over the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port. It's a helicopter port. If I could contact the other members from there. Okay, so yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That's where we're gonna fight. <laughs> we gotta fight the boss. And yeah, and there's um, oh, that's the other part. It's a huge mansion. Is that the other part of the mansion? Is that the guardhouse? It's huge. All right. So that's fine. We we're not gonna come back here just for the ink ribbon. So if anything, there'll probably be some ink ribbons in the underground or something when we get there. On the lab, whatever. So we got the main thing is the modus, so we can save um, what's his name, Chris, later on. <laughs> Just quickly, <laughs> gotta run to the corner and like, to the side because I already know they do that quick turn around. You know, they quickly turn around and grab you. Like, nope, not today. Yep. Your friend disappeared because his I, because <laughs> I killed him. So now he's just standing around there now. He's not thief anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna take this route. I'm not going through the other hall because there's some hunters left over there. I'm not even bothering with them or wasting any more ammo. So we're good. Anything I wanna? Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta put these away. Every time I hear that music, man. No, I said it so many times, like a billion times already to you guys, but it's just so good. <laughs> it's so good. Like, uh, just listen to it, man. It brings back so many memories back then as a child and stuff. Like, yeah, man, I miss those days. I don't know why we spoke about that in the last part. Give you guys a little, like, you know, insight, <laughs> backstory to my life. So I'm not going to talk about it again. Oh, damn, I'm only. I don't barely have any ammo left. You know what? Let me get the um, flame rounds. And oh, there's more explosive rounds. I didn't even see the. Actually, you know what? Put this back. I'm taking up too much. Actually, no, let's, let's keep it. And actually, no, it's not. <laughs> let's not keep it. I think we're good with these. Making sure. All right, yeah. Making sure I have this. <laughs> Making sure to actually put it back in the box, whatever. Put it in the box. And um, anything else? Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're done with the mansion. I don't think there's anything else I'm missing. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Let's get out of here. I got everything we need. All the we got like a bunch of ton of green herbs from everywhere in this place. So um, yeah, we're done. Yeah. All right, so let's make our way to the courtyard now. We're all set. <laughs> got a ton of ammo for every weapon, pretty much. And um, got our, our, our Python now, our Cold Python. So I'm like happy right now. <laughs> and we're doing good. Should I go through this way again? Yeah, I'm going to go through it. You know why? Because I didn't go through that door upstairs yet. I know there's hunters waiting for me over there. I'm not going to bother with these guys wasting ammo when we're done with this place. No reason. No reason to waste ammo and go upstairs. We can take this route. I'm gonna just run past these dudes over here and um Oh damn. Uh it's so creepy and everything. Oh <laughs> yeah, let's get through them. This this hall is now secured. So we have to worry about the hunters. And the other hall over here is secured. So yeah, so we're good.
right, so we'll make our way on the ground. Ugh. I'm ready, guys. I'm ready. Oh. Oh, my God. Come on. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm so fine. Wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. What I should have done was look up with, because I think, yeah, I know you can shoot them out of the air, right? Yeah. I should have done that instead, like, look up and, sh and shoot them. But it's just so sudden, you know? I don't think I ever did that, like, um, get, like kill them when they, they jump in there like that. Oh, wait, there's one more thing I forgot. I forgot um, the square crank. Oh, my God. I mean, I could just get it from the guardhouse area. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get it from here, because I forgot there's still some dogs over there. So there's one more thing I forgot. Damn. Yeah, sorry guys, I just backtracking and sorry that I keep forgetting these things. I should have had these things engraved in my brain already. Playing this game so many times. Let me hurry up and go back and get that. Yeah, because I forgot we have to use it to like stop the water, a little waterfall or whatever, so we can get on the ground. And then we can get down there. <laughs> And then I think we get another crank too, if I'm not mistaken, down there. It's strange how this one room doesn't have any music. <laughs> this is so stylish. Like, I don't know why they did why. This, I don't know. This is weird to me. Anyways, where's my um? Where's my square crank? There we go. So we got far, like we're almost like, we're like almost done, <laughs> pretty much, like almost done. So what I'm going to do actually is, um, should I do the, should I do the underground first and then I'll be the last part of this? Or should I just do the underground? I mean, I should I just wait, you know, and then do the underground and allow for the last part. Um, that's what I'm wondering, you know, maybe I should just do that actually. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I was just thinking about it again. Yeah. All right. So, so this would be it. Once we get to the, once we get on the ground, we'll just um, we don't do it from here, right? Nope, we don't. Yeah, it's from down there. Yeah. So once we get on the ground, I'll just make the save there, and um, that'll be it for this part. And then the next part, the last part. We'll just do both, the underground and the lab, and then boom, done with this game. Move on to the next hacked version, which is Resident Evil 2, based on Resident Evil 2. And then, that is it. <laughs> then I'll move on to, I'm um, doing maybe maybe two parts, two more parts for Vice Age. And then, um, and that's it. That'll be it for this Halloween Horror Game series. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I could probably do. Like, not, not a game, not another Let's Play, but something else I can do before this is up. I don't think I'm gonna have the time to do Fatal Frame, honestly. So I think I'm just gonna not bother with that one, sadly. Because Siren, <laughs> if that, oh wait, what am I doing? Oh my God, I was talking, I messed up. Yeah, if Siren wasn't, you know, what it was. <laughs> I mean, if I, sorry, if I would've known, I should say, if I would've known it was like that, I would've not wasted my time playing that one. Then I would've been playing Fatal Frame right now, actually. I don't know how long that game is, but I would have been playing that. Yeah, I mixed up. I was supposed to go around first, put the battery, take the elevator up, then come back around, then to... It's like a lot of backtracking. I, I forgot. I'm got everything mixed up because I'm talking, so yeah. <laughs> what, the hell is what the hell am I doing? All right, so let's do that. All right. I think there's some snakes around here. Right? Right, yep. Let me stay to the corner. I don't want him to sneak it up on me. All right, good. All right, so we don't have to come back through here. So we're going to take the elevator around, come up from there, and then we're, we're good to go. I forgot about these dogs. Are they still here? Oh, yeah, they are. I know that they leave you alone sometimes. Let me see what they're doing. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Just want to put this in real quick. <laughs> oh, go, go. Ooh, ooh! They could they could get me like they could easily like jump on that thing and, get, and just tear me to shreds. But <laughs> it's hilarious! Like it's some invisible force for all I'm going up. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they don't bother you. And from what the note said, 
is um when we read that note earlier, it's like yeah, if they're like laying down, like sleeping or whatever, they'll leave you alone. But even if they're walking like right there, like they won't bother you sometimes. Sometimes they feel like they will you know, sometimes when they feel like it, I should say. They'll attack. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> so that's the that's a little trick there. I think I've mentioned that already plenty of times playing when I played this. That's a little trick right there to get them, you know? To leave you alone. And um same thing with Resident Evil 2, like with the tongues, if you like quietly walk past them and stuff, they they won't bother you. So because they're blind. So yeah. Alright, good. Everything's so quiet now, so you so stop the water. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly run past these guys and go downstairs, go on the ground because I'm not wasting I'm not wasting my ammo. I'm wasting this good ammo on these guys. <laughs> Good explosive rounds, which I can use on gem hunters. <laughs> Let me get an encounter down here. Yeah, see? Yeah, you know, they don't bother us. Sometimes, you know, when they feel like it. <laughs> like I said. Alright, so we're good. Whew, we're safe down here. I think there's a safe place, right? Around here. Yep. Oh, there's no box? Oh yeah, this one doesn't have the storage box. I think I'm thinking about the HD version with the storage box right behind it. Oh damn. That's what I was thinking of. That's why I was gonna I was gonna save here and end it. Whatever. There's another save room actually. There's a save an actual save room down here. I just remembered. So once we get there, oh, Joe, that'll be it. What good timing. Oh, a moment ago I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Always here, man. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. <laughs> yeah, don't try anything funny. Will you go with him? Did I pick this last time? Would I? I said yes. I don't remember. Did I say no? Okay, I don't know. let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. I'll just let him hey, just tag along with me. Are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. <laughs> Do you want him to go first? Did I pick this before? I don't know. Okay. Say no. Let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. <laughs> Let's go, Barry. Yeah, I don't remember which which ones I chose first, but whatever. Yeah, I forgot a little bit of decision making in this one. When it comes to Joe. <laughs> I don't know about Chris, but Oh. Good thing he's here. I'm still trying to remember the last time I played this. If if I did that same thing, I don't remember. Yeah. Right, let's just go. Is that Jill? Uh oh, is that is it, Enrico's? Is it Enrico? Yeah. You're alive. Wait there. Are yeah. You anybody, Jill? <laughs> Why are you talking like that? What? Oh yes. Enrico. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? So bad at that voice acting. Oh my god. So the stars cheesy. are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Huh? Uh. Damn. Oh. oh lord, guys. <laughs> Enrico! <laughs> Enrico! <laughs> I sure was does that with her hand like this. What, 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 is, what, what is she supposed to do that? Like, what, what does that mean? What does that signify? Barry's investigating, as usual. Can I, look, can I check his body out? He couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's holding something. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> I can keep that. Uh, yucky, I don't want it. <laughs> Who wants that? Oh, let's take this. Here we go. Now we have our next one. <laughs> this is just like this one. Check it out. This end is hex shape. So we got the hex crank now. All right, let me go back. Let me see if anything happens if we go back to. Oh, nope. Nothing. Barry's investigating. <laughs> what is he investigating? He's just looking. That's all he's doing is just standing looking at him. 
or well, sitting there. I just, I mean, yeah, the <laughs> crowd just, just looking at him and whatever. But okay, let's continue on. I'll take that. Oh, there's another one. I wonder if there was any like ammo around there, if I'm not mistaken. I don't even, I'm not even bother. <laughs> I'm not even bother. Oh, damn. Taking them out. It's over here. Oh, these right here. Hmm. You know, I'm not even going to try. I was going to see, being nosy to see what's on the other side over there behind them, but I ain't going to bother. Oh! Oh my god, I didn't know it was that many. What? Uh, should never did that. Are we fine? All right, good. <laughs> this is still okay. Put this in. All right, good. Come on, girl. Hurry up. Oh, wrong one. Oh, I'm a... come on. <laughs> ah, completely forgot. Like I said, in this version, it doesn't have this. The, the inventory box is not there behind the typewriter. Yeah, and get a mix up. I played so many different versions of Resident Evil. Like, there's so many different versions of this original. Like, that's how you know it was really popular back then. Like, they had so many versions of this. <laughs> and on top of that, then you have all these mods and everything, all these hack versions. So it's like, damn, confusing sometimes. All right, let's go. Like, I remember there's another save um, room around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Oh yeah, we don't have the 180 thing. All right, that's fine. Oh my God! Run! Ooh! <laughs> oh my God! I was just thinking. Imagine that happens, and my like controller dies or something. Because <laughs> this is this is I'm using a wireless controller. Oh my God! I would have been so pissed because I would have to start all the way back. Oh come on! Ugh. I just start all the way back from the last save. Oh, turn around. I like that music playing though. Sounds so good. Alright, stay right here. Why should not auto aim in? Come on. This pissed me off. That's strange, I don't know why, but whatever. Yeah, there's a save room pass here once we fight this um giant spider. Doom take that. Oh! I like how you can just turn around that fast and do that. Like There you go. <laughs> I had to do that quick before he poisons us. Oh damn! Oh my god, <laughs> oh, there's so many of them. What's this? Fight a knife. Yeah, I'd rather do this instead of using the um, flame round. Oh, come on. No, I don't have time for this. <laughs> come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> They're like jumping me and everything. But I think we're fine. I don't think they take with that much damage. Let me, let me see. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. That was like, that was like love taps. We didn't feel that. <laughs> we didn't feel that at all. All right, now here we go. All right, now we're in the official save room. Oh good. I got some ink ribbons too. Take that. All right, nice. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put away this one because we don't need this one anymore. So I'll keep this one like. Yeah, I'll put it up here. And I don't need this knife again, so put that right there. There you go. And last thing, take this. So we need to pick up any more ink ribbons. We're good on ink ribbons now. We don't need anything else. Let me just put this in here. Cause the last save I'll be making is in the in I'm about to say the police station. <laughs> now I'm thinking about was it? Or was it two? Last save I'll make is inside the lab. And that'll be it for this part. Yeah, but it's good, guys. Have a lot of fun and everything.
I mean, I've been having a lot of fun, I should say. All right, court, 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 yard room. All right, all right. So that's that. So yeah, guys. So we made a lot of progress and everything. We're like pretty much, I'll say, eighty percent done of the game <laughs> and everything. So once we get through here, we'll be in lab, and then I'll be here for this, all that good stuff. And then I can move on to the other one, like I said, the other hacks, Resident Evil Two, I should say. And then after that, Visage, all that good stuff. And then we'll see what if, if I can probably squeeze something else in before this month is up and everything like that. Maybe I might have like. Something a little bit more interesting for Halloween, the exact day, you know, a little special or something maybe I can do on that day and all that good stuff. But yeah, so, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. I'll definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Resident Evil True Director's Cut on the PS1. Take care.